Guys, you'll be pleased to know that we are getting right back on the world's fastest front wheel drive Tamiya build. And you may be wondering why I've got a brand new FFO3 box here. Well, after running this on the last video, which obviously was many, many, many months ago, I do apologize. Ah, what was that? Ouch. A long time ago, lots of stuff's got in the way. Life's got in the way. Other projects have got in the way. The weather's got in the way. And now we're going into winter and I'm deciding to finish a speed build. Anyway, what I found with this on the initial build was that a lot of the screws, they're either rounded off or they just weren't going in properly. The problem with plastic and stuff and Tamiya's is, I mean, look at them ones. <laughs> they, um, you lose the thread and stuff on them. So I decided to buy a brand new chassis. I've got some bearings to go on that chassis and I've got some oil shocks to go on that chassis. And it also means that that can stay kind of looking like that because a lot of people liked it. And if I'm honest, I really liked it as well. But after just finishing a couple of other builds, I've got another chassis to build. While I'm building it, we will talk about today's sponsor who are Let's Get Checked. So Let's Get Checked is a personal health testing service. Um, that offer 30 individual tests that you can carry out at home. Uh, multiple tests covering men's health, women's health, sexual health, wellness, um, and it is really easy to do. Order online, there's full instruction on how to do the test. There's also instructional videos. Um, I took the full male hormone test, not that I've got any concerns, but I did it so I could give you a personal account of my experience rather than like reading from a script. It took a couple of days for my test to arrive. It comes in discreet packaging, and I got my results 24 hours after they received it. You can either download an app or go online and set yourself up an account, and you can track it as well. So once you've posted it, they'll let you know when it's arrived. They'll let you know when they've done the test. You get the results through an email, or you'll get them on your app if you've got the app. All mine came back normal. If you have any abnormal results from your test, you can then speak to the clinic team on the next steps that you should take. If you have a look on their website, you can see they've done over 3 million tests. And then if you look on Trustpilot, there's over 15,000 reviews and they've got a top rating of 4.6 stars. More information in the description about Let's Get Checked. Remember to use my discount code TOMLYRC25 and you'll get 25% off your first order. Does anyone else work like this or is it just me? <laughs> I try to be organized, but I always end up in a mess. <laughs> I do try. Let me know if this is your working style or whether you put everything into individual boxes and label it all. Nah, not me. Where's the fun in that? Little cheat for doing turnbuckles. Just go easy. <laughs> Don't go too crazy with a drill. You will damage something. Swap it around. This time you have to be really... So this time... Go really easy with how tight you do your chuck. It will be wobbly. Oh, a little bit too short on that. I nailed the first one though. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would. That's kind of my day gone now. I'm gonna leave this for today. We're gonna to come back tomorrow. Gonna to quickly talk about this build. There's a few bits I wanna point out. And then it's time to go crazy with the electronics and get this thing going fast. Whoa, <laughs> get this thing going fast. So there we go, the chassis built, just got a few bits to do, got to get the servo in there. Battery cover, and I think it's got a tray there maybe for the ESC. Anyway, I've not built an FF3 before, and this was a really nice build. There were some fiddly bits on it, and I struggled to find all the parts, but you saw the mess. That's my own fault for not organizing it properly. This kit came with bearings as well, which is nice to see in a Tamiya. I don't know whether all the FF03s come with bearings, but Nice to see. I like all the tie rods on it as well. You've got adjustable camber, adjustable toe, push rods in there for your suspension. Everything's adjustable. Gone slightly softer on the front, harder springs on the rear. I'm not a pro, but I think the stiffer rear suspension is what I'm going to need for this, being it's front wheel drive. What I don't want is too much weight shift to the rear, so stiff rear suspension. I was trying not to rob that too much, but I had to because it had a carbon fiber rear tower, carbon fiber support there and it had this cool engine cover. So we did rob a few parts off. I will get that back to like a, a running state. I've got all the parts here to go back on there. Motor ESC servo. So we're going straight for speed and power. This is a sensor castle motor, but it's an uncensored Sidewinder 4 ESC. 7,700 kV, 3S capable. So that should push this thing relatively fast. So I'm gonna fit that. We're gonna put the original Demon servo that I put in the uh, first build. That's gonna go in, that's 35 kilos. It's a pretty fast and powerful servo. This is only a light thing, so it should be fine. Just going for a cheap Dumbo RC transmitter. It's got a lot of range on this. I don't need a gyro for this. I, 
I don't think a gyro would help with a front wheel drive car. A gyro on front wheel drive is probably going to cause more harm than good. As long as you've got your geometry set up well, them front wheels are just going to try and pull it straight anyway. So no gyro, basic setup. Got a brand new set of contact RC foams. I've got 30 mil for the front and then some slightly thinner 26 mil for the rear. Not sure I'm going to do a gear in, so we'll get all the electronics in, we'll get the motor in and then we'll talk about pinions. So unfortunately we had an issue with the castle motor because of where the tabs were for the cables I just couldn't get it to fit. I got the Dremel on the uh, carbon fibre brace just to see if I could get it to fit but I couldn't, it just wasn't going to work. So I found an easy run motor, it's not quite as spicy, it's 6,000 kV rather than 7,700. But that's all we got at the moment so we'll work with it and maybe we'll look at a different motor if this thing doesn't perform how I want it to. And here it is. So there's that easy run motor in there. It's actually positioned quite well. And again, that one was a bit of a pain. It wasn't so much getting the motor in there, it was getting it positioned so the holes lined up. We've just got stock gear in at the moment. I'd look for my pinions. It's a 26 tooth. And the only other pinion I had that would fit is a 24. And that one's one of the Tamiya alloy ones, which, well, <laughs> They don't last long in speed run cars. The one that comes in the kit though is definitely not the same material, so that should hopefully last. Also decided last minute to put the sway bars on. I wasn't going to for a speed run. Do you need sway bars? I don't know, but I threw them on, might as well. And it is looking good. I do like a fresh build on the bench. Right, so I need to throw the wheels on. We need to get the body mounted and then we're ready for our first test. I'm gonna do 2S first, then I'm gonna do 3S. I haven't shown you the body yet, but there it is. I'll give you a closer look once it's mounted on there. Ready? Protoform front wheel drive body, the Europa. Team TRC colours with the grey, the black, the green. I tried a bit of a forged carbon effect on the roof. Nah, it looks all right from about that distance, but it's not great. Had to throw a Hoonigan sticker on it. Left the arches covered on the rear. Looks a bit like one of them early, was it the Honda EV? But should help it a little bit. But I'm not putting a spoiler on, I don't want rear downforce on this, but I have put these little fins on that the spoiler mounts to. You never know, might add a little bit of straight line stability. Front arches, yeah, that actually might work in my favor. The tires actually clear that. But because they're all the way forwards, it means that there's no air that's going to get behind there. I mean, it's going to get in there, but it might help it a little bit. It might not. Who knows? Aerial sticking out there, hoping that my signal loss will be very minimal. It's quite a long stretch of road. Anyway, speaking of which, let's go. It was meant to be a bright, sunny day today. And this is what we're greeted with. <laughs> Mist and, yeah a damp surface and it's two o'clock in the afternoon anyway we gotta do what we gotta do haven't we so let's go if this looks like it's going to be a fail we'll have to come back although i've only got a few weeks using this area then i'm done so <laughs> i need to get on with it i don't know how well you can hear it, it sounds so nice it's got like a nice little electrical whine to it couple of little 2s passes just to make sure it's dialed in yeah, that's, ah, no, 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 not on the grass. Whew, that was close. Yeah, it's pretty straight, actually. That was almost full throttle, but I'm getting a lot of wheel spin, so I need to keep it in for a bit longer. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to get the tires dirty and wet. Ugh, not ideal. Ah, no. It's not what I wanted. Let's clean them off. I don't know about traction, but that was full throttle on 2S. Oh, 45 mile an hour. I was hoping for a bit more with 2S. Hmm, let's give it another run. Well, that was definitely full throttle. 45 again. I think 53 is our magic number to beat my PB. We're not beating any world records today, that's for sure. All right, 3S. Whew. Let's just try to beat my PB today. Like I said, no world records being broken today. 86, not achievable with that 45 mile an hour 2S run anyway. Let's see how far 3S gets us without crashing, eh? No traction, no traction at all. <laughs> Full throttle, spinning I think. 
sure it's just spinning its wheels. Slide, slide, slide. Woo. <laughs> Front wheel drive is a little easier to control when it starts to spin, that's for sure. All right, let's bring it in. It's certainly moving. Certainly moving. Come on, let's just have a PB. 53, I think it was to beat. Yeah, 61 mile an hour, beat my PB. Let's run it one more time. So obviously better, better weather would certainly uh, help, but I think we're gonna have to gear this thing up, aren't we? But let's give it another run, see if we can. I think we need 62, don't we, to get 100 kilometers an hour, so let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so smooth when it's going, it's so smooth. I've tracked it as straight as possible, but it just pulls a little bit either way. Oh, that went a long way down there. Still got signal though, so my little aerial is doing well. Oh, that is moving. Nice. All right, come on then. What did we get? Yay, 63. 102 kilometers an hour, 63 mile an hour. New PB, I think that's all we're gonna to manage today. Let's go back to the workshop and have a quick summary. So there we go, guys. That is the world's fastest FFO free project part two complete. Didn't quite reach the goal this time and now there's gonna be a long break before we see this again. We are really settling into the winter now in the UK. The weather is absolute trash. And as you saw on this run, we were promised sunshine and we didn't get it. It's not all bad news though. I did get a PB, 63 mile an hour, 100 and whatever it was, kilometers an hour. So that is my new PB for front wheel drive. So no real major issues apart from we did have a little bit of scrubbing on the front there. You can see where it's rubbed through the paint. Seems to be okay on this side. I certainly think we were hampered by the weather, but even with that slippery surface, this thing was still relatively easy to keep going straight, apart from a few twitchy moments in the dry weather. It's gonna be an animal. Gonna shelf this now over the winter, maybe do a little bit of stuff in the background, gear it up, change the motor, and then we'll re-attack it next year and see if we can get that unofficial record. Hopefully no one will beat it between now and then. Cheers for watching, and even though winter is setting in now, plenty more content to come for the channel. And remember, if you're interested in getting some health checks, 25% off if you use the code in the description. Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time.